this Kim Mulkey thing before we get out of here. And not only that, but the Lady Tigers winning today. Coming back, look, that game was highly competitive <laughs> today for a lot of the parts of the game. LSU versus Middle Tennessee State. This team continues to go as Angel Reese goes. Guys, I mean, I've been telling you this all year, and some of you have pushed back, some of you have not. She's 3 of 10 in the first half, far better in the second, and look what happens. Michaela Williams, I thought, changed the entire game. LSU was down 38-41. She's in the corner. She hits the big three. You and not, I, and I'm pretty sure from that moment on, you go on a 37-8 to run. You beat Middle Tennessee in very convincing fashion. You put it on them in the second half to win the game. Look, this is going to continue to be what you should expect and what you will have with Kim Mulkey as your head coach. You're going back to another Sweet 16. Obviously, you won the national title last year. Can this team put it together? Can they make a run? Can they now have knocked some of the rust off? They go back into play in the Sweet 16. You technically are as talented as anybody in the country. Can you make it to a Final Four? Today, I thought you played a team that had 30 wins, had a Hall of Fame head coach. They were very scrappy, won a lot of team, a lot of games against Power 5 opponents this year, and they're a really good team. They just didn't have the depth, and they didn't have the overall talent. That when LSU knocked the rust off, that, you were, that they were able to overcome and win that game. But that is vastly overshadowed, okay, unfortunately, by what has happened over the last couple of days with the stuff going on with Kim Mulkey. We briefly talked about this on Friday, but today I want to touch on it. To give you a little bit of a reminder of what I said this past week, it is difficult for somebody – to come out here and defend or talk about women's basketball when hot topics happen, mainly due to the fact, okay, mainly due to the fact that every time a hot topic situation comes up, it always becomes political. What do I mean by political? Either... There's a situation where we talk about, oh, well, Caitlin Clark, and we talk about, well, 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 she's not a great player, but Angel Reese is trash, and then there's a racial divide that happens there. Kim Mulkey and Dawn Staley, you know, they're in a post game, and then some people are sticking up for Kim, some people are sticking up for Dawn. They agree with Dawn, they agree with Kim, which is pretty much what our country is like, split 50-50 down the middle from a political ideology. But then stuff like the Brittany Griner thing comes back up. And I said this yesterday, and a lot of people from one political viewing point came after me when I said, hey, guess what? I understand that you're not happy that, that Kim Mulkey did not say more about the Brittany Griner situation. Okay, you can have your opinion on that. But calling Kim a dumbass and 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 uh, not a good person, what do you want her to do when Brittany Griner went to Russia with weed or oil or cannabis, whatever it is, that she would have gotten popped for? You can't go to a country like that with drugs and think that something bad, especially with a person of high profile as she is, and something wasn't going to happen. That's what I said and got attacked for it. Why now this is becoming more of an issue is crazy to me. Now, Kim yesterday said, in a nutshell, that she is going to be suing the Washington Post if they come at it with a story that is un that is not truthful. Okay. I wish she would have waited. And if I were advising Kim, I wish she would have waited to make that statement until after the article was published. In case you hadn't heard what's happening, Pat Forty released that the Washington Post is going to be doing a hit piece on Kim Mulkey. They spoke to anonymous players, uh, and apparently they're going to talk about how awful of a human being she is. That's basically what the story is going to be. It's not going to be anything about recruiting or basketball, nothing. By the way, 
the Washington Post, the same author that or the same person that's going to be writing this is a South Carolina grad and wrote a hit piece about Brian Kelly and why he doesn't deserve any money. Kim's going out saying what she said yesterday that I'm going to sue the Washington Post. I'm tired of sleazy reporters. She's right to, number one, say that. Number two, I somewhat agree with her because I think even some people around and, and are on beat can be sleazy. But I do wish that she would have waited because it gave the media and the progressive media, which just going to call it what it is, what they wanted. Guys, newsflash. People in my position and positions uh, like at ESPN or Washington Post, they do shit for clicks. It's their job to do shit for clicks. That's how they generate themselves money. It's how they generate their business money. It's their job to do it. But when I told you two or a week and a half ago, whenever it was, the SEC championship game, and Kim Mulkey said, well, I bet you won't, you know, the South Carolina player, I bet you won't do that to Angel. I told you that more was going to come from that. That is why somebody from the Washington Post allegedly is going to write a hit piece on Kim Mulkey after that incident who graduated from South Carolina and covered South Carolina. I will also be honest, I think South Carolina is one of the weakest fan bases mentally in the entire conference. That's neither here nor there, but it's the truth. All of that being said, I don't have a problem with Kim, what Kim said. What are our players going to say that hasn't already been said? Is there new evidence of things that has not already been said about her? There's already stories that were written that she did not want Brittany Griner to go out there and talk about her sexuality. Okay, that's nothing new. None of that is new. They're going to talk about some shit that she said to players back in the day that she, when she was never at LSU. Sounds good. But all credibility walks out the door when someone from South Carolina types up that, types that up, talks to former players, and releases that. Meanwhile, you got former players saying something different on social media. And here's the biggest thing. I got to be real. This isn't life or death. So staying anonymous in a hit piece like this makes you a coward. If you want to say something about Kim Mulkey, why hide behind anonymous? And here's another question. How do we know that a player actually said something to someone from the Washington Post about Kim Mulkey? Like, how do we know if they're anonymous? It's like this dude from the Washington Post is saying, sources, this former player from Kim Mulkey told me this and this story. It's like the old saying goes, well, who's your source? Trust me, bro. That's my source. Okay. A lot of you have done that to me over the years and you've looked like a fucking fool. But man, it's going to continue. As long as Kim Mulkey is your head coach, things like this will continue. And it's tough for God Bless Jesus, I kicked, I kicked it again. God dang it. When all of it's said and done, I stand with what Kim said and her opinion. I just wish that, you know, and I understand her trying to get out in front of it, right? Like, I, I understand Kim trying to get out in front of this story. It doesn't stop that they got everything that they wanted. Now, Jeff Goodman came out and stated, well, how do you, you know, it's to me, well, how, how, do, how does Kim Mulkey know what's going to be said in the report? Well, Kim Mulkey literally said in her press conference that the Washington Post called her and told her what was going to be said. The media are bad-mouthing her and not even say, like, well, how does she know this? Well, did you watch what she fucking said? Or did you just 
say something on Twitter. Social media. There we go. I'm just, I kicked it. I keep kicking it. We were doing stuff today with figuring out.